Okay, so we're about to give a talk here in Nantucket, uh, and we just have a few minutes, so I just want to show you a couple things we, we looked at around the house to tell them about during the talk. So last time we talked about how paper wasps use the wood here to make their, their paper nests, and they strip off the, the wood, and you can see those marks left behind. Look at this over here. So here's where the paper wasp nests are. Uh, and, and the nest is actually gone, but you can see there's still this little stalk left over. And the stalk is what the nest hangs from, and that keeps the ants from finding the nest. And the cool thing is that they've actually put an ant repellent chemical all over that stalk to keep the ants away. It's a pretty smart strategy. Here's, here's another wasp nest. This is a mud dauber, black and yellow mud dauber. The weird thing about them is that they actually sting spiders and paralyze the spiders and stuff them into the mud nests for their baby wasps to feed on. So if you're a little spider and you see a wasp coming along, you probably want to do something like ah! oh, 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 that was close. Let's try it again. Well, there's a whole mess of rusty tussock moth cocoons here. And the caterpillars, when they're ready to pupate, just pluck off all their own hairs and mix them in with the silk. And then the adult females uh, when they emerge, they don't have any wings, they just wait for a male to fly in and mate with them, and then they lay eggs right on top of their own cocoons. Uh, there are some parasitic fly pupae here, tachinid flies, that developed inside the caterpillars and then popped out and pupated right in there. And then there are some tube web spider webs just hey, hey, tucked in among the... Hey, hey, something really awesome over here. This whole stairwell here, it's full of these spiders called cellar spiders. These big spiders that hang out in your basement and places like that. And when you see a lot of them, you should look for this really weird phenomenon. Okay, so for many uh, insects and spiders, there's a particular species of fungus that attacks just that species of insect or spider and takes over its mind and causes it to go to this prominent location where the fungus pops out of it and the spores disperse into the air and go find new uh, individuals of that species and, and take over their bodies. In the case of the cellar spider, there's this particular fungus that I don't know if it controls their mind or not, but it does pop out of their leg joints and make this crazy, uh, like, marshmallow pom-pom fuzz that's covering them. You can see this individual here. It's it's covered with this fungus, and it's pretty gross and, and just, I just really awesome. You should really... No, are you done yet? Uh, I better go. 